Hello friends and welcome to virtual story time at the Chippewa River District Library. Will you join me in singing the hello song? Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. Welcome to story time. Today we are talking all about the colors blue and yellow. And I have the perfect book to talk about those two colors. This book is called The Little Blue and Little Yellow by Leo Leone. Before we even start the book, we can see something happening, can't we? We have the color blue and the color yellow. And what color do they make when they mix together? in the middle here. Hmm. Can you figure out what will happen in this book just by looking at that color in the middle? What color is that? This is Little Blue. Here he is at home with Papa and Mama Blue. Little Blue has many friends, but his best friend is Little Yellow, who lives across the street. Oh, isn't that nice? Look at Little Blue and Little Yellow hanging out there. They're such good friends. How they love to play hide and seek and ring around the roses. In school, they sit in neat rows. After school, they jump and run. I love looking here and seeing all of the students in the neat little rows at school. And then do you see them jumping and running? It's so fun to imagine how these little blots of color are actually little kids playing around. One day, Mama Blue went shopping. You stay home, she said to Little Blue, but Little Blue went out to look for Little Yellow. Hmm, oh, I don't know. Maybe he should have listened to his mom and stayed home. Alas, the house across the street was empty. He looked here and there and everywhere until suddenly around a corner there was little yellow happily they hugged each other oh i'm so glad they found each other but look what color are they making when they hug hmm and they hugged each other until they were green Oh no, little blue and little yellow mixed together make green. If you'd like to find out what happens after little blue and little yellow turn green, you can check this book out from the library. There'll be a link down below to check it out from CRDL. I'd like to teach you a finger play using the color blue we're going to have two little bluebirds on our fingers here. Can you get out two little bluebirds like this? And this rhyme goes, two little bluebirds sitting on a hill, one named Jack and one named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Good job, do you see how easy that was? Let's try this rhyme again with our bluebirds, but make them do some different opposite things. And you can follow along with me in the motions as we go along. Two little bluebirds sitting on a car. One was near, put this bird really near to you. And one was far, reach this bird out really far away from you. Fly away near fly away far, come back near, come back far. Two little bluebirds sitting on some ice. One was mean. For this one, we're going to give our meanest face. And one was nice. Give your nicest face. Fly away mean. Fly away nice. Come back, mean. Come back, nice. Good job. Not only have we learned a little bit about the color blue through the bluebirds, but 
we also learned about some opposite words. Great job, friends. Grab a pen and paper. It's time to practice our writing. Today's word is a color. Let's start at the beginning with the big capital letter. I'm just following along these dashes. It's a great way to practice. A B. Next, this is a lowercase letter, even though it goes above the middle line. L. U. E. B. L. U. E. B. L. U. Blue. For our next rhyme, I want to talk about the color blue and yellow and maybe some other colors. So we're going to look at our clothing and we're going to do this rhyme and follow what it says if we're wearing the color of clothing in that part of the rhyme. I'll show you. It's pretty easy. So if you have any clothes that are blue, put your finger on your shoe. Can you touch your shoe? Good job. Only if you're wearing blue. So I really shouldn't be doing it. I'm not wearing blue. If you have any clothes that are yellow, smile like a happy fellow. Can I see a smile for the color yellow? If you have any clothes that are green, wave your hands so you'll be seen. If you have any clothes that are red, put your fingers on your head. And finally, if you have any clothes that are white, clap your hands with all your might. Good job, friends. Now we've learned about a couple of different colors. What colors were you wearing today? Before we go, I would like to show you how you could act out the story we learned today at home. Just like with lots of different stories, it's great to practice retelling them. And I've brought with me some clay. I have some yellow clay and some blue clay to represent little blue and little yellow. And a great way to practice some of those pre-literacy skills is to talk through what happened in the story and play it out. So you can talk about how little blue loved playing with little yellow and little blue left his house and he went to see little yellow. And then when they gave each other a hug, they smooshed together and they made green. So now we have a little green. So it's a great way to practice your colors and also to practice retelling stories and building up those story skills. Well, friends, we've reached the end of our story time and it's time to sing a goodbye song. Will you join me? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you next time.